currently a second year nursing student in the nursing program, mm -hmm. and I intend on going into critical care nursing. Can you tell me what that is for people who don't know? Critical care um, will be the nurses that you find in ICU, operating room, and emergency, mm -hmm. dealing with basically acute traumas or diseases that affect the body. Well, my mother's a nurse's aide at CCU Law, and I was also a medic in the Army for six years. I got to up a senior rank, and basically I couldn't really train any further, so luckily this program had came in, into place. As far as for myself, I, had, I was actually in the Hampton University program that they had affiliated back in early 2000. I had got accepted to two schools away and didn't have the money to go. So I went into the Army, did six years, and this program showed up, so I joined this program. Um, luckily, I'm able to work, um, still close to family, and I could do the majority of my schooling here on, on island. It's um, definitely a different atmosphere. Um, I get to, being as I'm in class, so I got to actually find out how women interact and know not to get into any sort of obstacles that come across with each person. So um, yeah, it's, I really enjoy it. Okay. And what would you say to encourage other young men who may have initial interest for being a medic in the regiment or being a male nurse? Don't think that all male nurses are a certain way. Um, it's a field that's open for more expansion as far as research, as far as education. Um, there are other possible fields. You could go into community health. You could deal with the elderly. So it's a, it's a various need. It depends on your nature. So if you're a current person or a current male figure, don't be afraid to actually go and see what it's like. You may just enjoy it. Just to let you know, it is hard. It is challenging. It's not easy. Look into the school first. Don't just assume or take her say on because the school is developing core programs as we develop life. My name is Karen Peterson. I'm a mature student. Um, I'm getting into gerontology because I like helping the elderly. I worked at CCU two summers ago and I enjoyed it and it just cemented that that's where I wanted to be. Okay. Tell me a bit about the journey to go back to school as a mature student. Any concerns there? It was a struggle. It is a struggle, but all I say is stick to the wickets and the runs will come. Mm -hmm. Did you? Do you have children of your own? Yes, I have two. What children. What did they say when mommy said I'm going back to school? They encouraged me to mm -hmm. um, trying to make it better for them as well. They They are older, but yeah. still trying to make a better life. I've always liked working with the elderly. I think that they are somewhat forgotten sometimes and I always related to them. I like making them feel special like the combing of the hair and you know doing up the nails mm -hmm. and so it um, brings me joy that yes. they're happy. Yes and that's important isn't it? Yes it is. Especially when you're struggling over that chemistry for a nursing exam. Yes. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> and any any rough areas really that you struggled in that today maybe you're doing better with that you really proud of? Well, I struggled with biology, really struggled, and that's basically the foundation of nursing. Yeah. But I overcame that, and so I'm here. If you're passionate about it and you care about people, don't listen to what people have to say, just go out and do it. Follow your own path. My name is Deshante Farbe, I'm 24 years old, and uh, my interest in nursing is leaning more to the neonatal or um, pediatric labor and delivery areas. Mm -hmm. Tell me what led you there. Well, um, as the eldest, I've observed my mom's pregnancies and always been fascinated with the development of you know, the fetus to the newborn. And so that's always been an area I, I was interested in. Takes a bit of an extra heart, though, to see a uh, struggling preemie, doesn't it? And deal with that. Yes, it does. Um, I actually have a goddaughter who was born two months early and it was amazing to see her development now, nine months, you would never know. Yes. So it's just a great thing to observe. It's definitely an amazing feeling to know that you're part of the first group who took the initiative to be locally trained 
it's good and for all the younger people or anyone interested in pursuing a career I'll just say go for it and don't let anything sway you from your dreams. For me, I was pursuing um, a pre-medicine degree, came back for financial challenges and took this opportunity to sort of sway in from that to continue on and pursue a healthcare degree. You think you might still end up going to be an MD? I think so, but we're working on the nursing first. My name is Josephine Dean, I'm 29 years old. I'm the first group in the nursing program. My specialty is gerontology. Um, I love dealing with the elderly, or taking care of the elderly. It has been my passion since I started nursing. At first I started business, I started out in business, but I felt nursing was the area that I would like to specialize in after taking care of my first elderly patient. Business to nursing, big switch, what happened? My first patient that I, take, uh, I took care of was an elderly patient. He was a wonderful person that I could um, imagine mm. taking care of and uh, it just sort of get, switched towards business, just went straight over to, to nursing and that, because I started out with an elderly patient, I just went right into um, focusing on gerontology. Is he still alive? This no, he person? has passed on unfortunately. So you think maybe he's smiling down on the fact that he's he was a major influence? He definitely was and I think he would be. Yes. yes. What would you say to young people to encourage them to pick something they're passionate about? It's important to do something that you love, not in regards to money. Taking care of someone and giving back is a very important part of doing what it is that you love to do. The fact that you're dealing with the elderly, it's a little harder and that you have to end up saying goodbye to a lot of your patients. That is probably the hardest part in taking care of and in, in being in this field. Yes. Um, maternity or other areas like that, it's not really yes. you know, geared towards that, but take, when, when you're talking about gerontology and taking care of the elderly, it is pretty difficult sometimes. Do you think that experience has made you a better person or has caused you to grow in, in ways? I think so. There are things that you learn from the elderly. First gentleman that I took care of, he was a war veteran. There were so many different stories that he had. He told so many different stories. And it was such a, we, we built such a great relationship just from hearing about the past and the wisdom that he taught. You know, So it was really a nice experience working with him. And what would you say to other young women to maybe seek this profession? Because there's such a shortage of nursing, not just locally, but mm -hmm. worldwide, it is a fabulous opportunity, and I would encourage anyone to get into the healthcare. It's a large demand, demand for it, okay. okay, and it's a large need. And as the population ages, and we have more and more seniors that are getting older, and more people living even with chronic illnesses, um, I would encourage people to get into healthcare because they're going to need more people because like we're you. Definitely right? going to need more people. My name is Nadine Blake. I am 33 years old and I am in the nursing program at the Bermuda College. I hopefully would like to become either um, a pediatric nurse or I want to be um, the circulating nurse in the OR. Um, I had an experience where I felt that being the circulating nurse would um, be suitable for me. I found that um, dealing with the OR it was almost like a symphony, just the way everything just played out from the initiation of getting the OR ready to when they finally have the patient and to the patient being discharged. Um, so I found that very soothing. Mm. Most people wouldn't, but I found it very soothing. Takes a special breed, you think? It does because you can see some gruesome process. Not gruesome, but for most people looking at it, it looks very disturbing mm. um, seeing someone being sliced into. If you don't have the stomach um, or just have the passion of wanting to do this, you probably will just either faint or be discouraged. Mm. But I find that having a surgery is having someone taking care of something that you yourself cannot, whether it's to give your prosthetics or to take out something that's not supposed to be there or to um, repair um, an injury to a tissue. Um, just having that intervention by someone else that's going to enable you to have like a better outcome is very um, awesome. I know most people think um, this girl is probably morbid, but <laughs> I love that. How long before you finish? And um, are you looking forward to that? I am. Indeed, 
We are pioneers, so we're definitely looking towards the end. We're going to be finished in um, November 2014. I think we're going to be graduating in 2015. So it's nerve-wracking. It's a lot of work, but at the end, we're going to be rewarded as RN nurse and future nurses of Bermuda. So I'm very much looking forward to my graduation. Hey, my name is Selena Swan. I'm a mature student and my interest is mental health. Working with the mental health is very challenging, but for the community, it's still a stigma, as we all know as St. Brandon's, but it's now MWI. And I like working with the clients there. We call them service users. My Nana, she was an um, EN enrolled nurse, and my aunt worked there as an opportunity therapist, an uh, aide, and um, my interest developed from there. Tell me a bit about what you've been doing over the past, what, three years and what this program means to you, being able to qualify right here at home as opposed to doing the whole thing abroad. Well, I started my um, prerequisites um, abroad and then I came back home because of um, family issues. But um, I used this um, statement, um, failure is not an option, and it kept uh, motivating me to go on. and. Um, Having two children, one in university and one in college, has motivated me to get something for myself, being you know by home by yourself, and to be able to work and study at the same time to support your children as well as to let them see that you don't have to stop at one place; you can keep striving on. And so that's what motivates me. And so your children can look up to you and say, "Oh, although we had my mom had adversities, um, she was still able to." move on to an, another level. And what would you say to other young individuals who opted or ended up being young parents when it comes to pursuing education and, and creating a better life for you that, you know, just because you have children doesn't mean it's right. over? I say to any individual out there in our community to follow your dreams, um, follow your passion, and when usually you follow your passion, you'll follow, you'll find what you're you love the most and that's usually where you excel in and it's like the other students said, it's not about the money, it's about what you love and I love helping people, I love caring for people and that what makes me motivate to see them accomplish things from the tiny little task to a very enormous task when you look back on that day and say wow look where they've come from.